Go ahead, Avery. 6.5. One. What? Well, come on. One? I mean, isn't this a humbleness test? Like, you say something over six, and they humble you anyway? Yeah, but I... Is that too low? Five. <laughs> what? What? I mean, it now it just seems like you're wanting to give me the answer that you think we want to hear, but what do you genuinely... What's your own self-assessment of your physical appearance? I don't know if I self-assess in that quantitative of a way. Do you? Yeah, I do. You look at us all, and you already have a number in your head. Well, I, I want to give you guys a, more you, of a look over, but I, I, think I it's could a assign. Question. I, I suppose I could assign like a number, yes, one to ten. I don't, I don't intend to do it unless you guys ask me to. But I feel like just rate yourself like well, today. Like, we'll go around the table. Like right now? Five. Okay. Sure. What about you? Seven. I, I, I'm not humbling myself, but you know, sure. not everybody's perfect. Like, okay. No matter what they say. I feel like it just depends on the day, but today it's like a six. Like a six. It's on a sliding scale per day. <laughs> Five. I feel like it depends on the time of day and uh, what day, but... Today, this day, right May 7th. Um, <laughs> probably a seven. What about like around twilight? Is okay, it higher I mean or like, <laughs> I mean like when I'm just waking up in the morning, because we can go from two to seven. No, like the like evening twilight. Uh-huh. Uh, in twilight. Like uh, the twilight seven. time? Seven. So better lighting that works for you. Better you know, lighting. Like golden, <laughs> golden hour. The golden hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I kind of like the scale thing too, but I guess I'll say like a seven. All right. Okay. Thank you, Stifler, for that. That was. Uh, that's did, a fr- I think that's the first time I've ever heard on any paddle. The girls didn't go say. I'm no a ten. ten. No I'm ten. a ten. I'm you guys are starting a movement. Did yep. that dude say he was a ten on your show the other day? The dude. The dude. Which dude? Oh, 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 wait. Uh, no, he, he's talking about Gary the Numbers guy. <laughs> no, that, that big gremlin looking thing that was on your show. Yeah, that was oh. Gary, Gary the Numbers oh, guy. No, she, yeah. uh, she, he made a, a thing. It was on, what was it on? Like a yeah, video talking yeah. about how. So, uh, Gary's a 10. Um, hold on. Allie. Hold on. Her name? Allie, Allie. Allie. Yeah. yeah. So, Allie did, uh, she was on No Jumper. They showed yeah. her TikTok yeah. on No Jumper, and she said, these dudes don't understand that I'm a 10, so I'm at Wendy's right now eating my feelings. Eating her feelings. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good. So, did you object? Do you object to the rating scale? No, I don't object to it. If someone oh, okay. sees themselves in a way where they can quantify it, go for it. Sure. Because sometimes we get pushback from on this question of like, oh, it's kind of we rude to try to dehumanizing to try to view someone, you know, to rank someone by their or rate someone by their physical appearance. It's not even the rudeness. I question the objectivity of it because I've noticed when mm. Fresh and Fit does this and you do this, the intention is kind of to rate the woman's delusion or humbleness, which kind of proves that the rating system is subjective because the argument is, is, is it's objective. But if the girl says 10, then mm. the guys will call her a two. Yeah, and if the girl says two, they say, funny how the girl who says two is the hottest girl. So they base it off personality, proving right. that. You know what right. I mean? You it factor in personality with well, looks. Well, it is personality because if you're yeah. over here and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm hot shit, this, and this, and that, they're going to be like, well, she's over here thinking she's all that, so let's right. go ahead and humble her yeah. really quick. But, but if you're like, if you're kind of nice about it and you're kind of like, oh, yeah, I feel like maybe I'm an eight, I'm a nine today, like, you know, I'm feeling okay, then they're going to be like, okay, that's cool. Sure, like, which you know, proves that looks aren't so objective. Actually, yeah. Then if we're talking about that, then I changed my answer. I'm a 10. Every, then when we're talking about that, then I'm changing my answer then. <laughs> because if... I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. Like everybody can say any hurtful thing. I play COD. Like y'all have heard so much hurtful Call of things. Duty? Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the first Those one. Those are some hardcore lobbies for sure. Yeah, for sure. S and D too. <laughs> I promise you. Okay. But anyways, no, but you're, you're correct. It is subjective, and that's why we asked you. You're you're the subject in this time. That you're rating yourself, right? Sure. I well, don't see, know we, if we do the. We, I mean, every time we do Access Vegas, we have we have some, in my opinion, some very stunningly gorgeous girls on there. Every guy in the in the chat says, "Oh, I can't. Why, why don't you get some normal girls on there? Why don't you get like that's the number one thing we had to deal with from day one, was people saying that the, that the girls on our show were fake. They had big lips. They had big tits. They had there was you know there get some real girls on there kind of thing, and so it was the subjective like opinion of these guys that these aren't like quote unquote normal girls. Mm-hmm. So. All you really have to do is go walk through any major airport today and you can go find normal people. Are they going to be the people that you want to have on your, your podcast? Are they going to be people you're going to poll for like these kind of questions? I don't think so. Big announcement, guys. We currently have 10,000 plus viewers. That is a we'll record. Get, you'll get more. That is a record for whatever. The chat is on fire. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, guys. I think our previous yeah, highest was like 8,000. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think everyone's just like overcomplicating things like it's just they just asked you like whether or not you think you're a 10 like in my opinion if a fat bitch is fat you call her fat you know or if someone's ugly you call them butt ugly you know 
But like, if we just overcomplicate things, like, oh, oh, my worth is like, you okay, know, I'm if you sorry. saw something earlier, real. you this entire video, you have been talking about personality, how it doesn't have to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I've been talking about personality. No, 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 because now you're talking down about somebody how they're okay, fat. Okay, well, well, ugly. if a fat bitch is fat, you call her fat. Like well, personality. Well, if I say you have an like, ugly personality, do you have an ugly personality? Well, yeah, that's your opinion, but like exactly. personally. So at the end of the day, it's been, still an opinion. Yeah, I, I am. At the end of the day, so you're getting mad at her. I don't think that that's contradicting her. Contra- she's talking can about you, two can different things. Can you let things. me finish? Can you, can you, can you, can you haven't you let, let anyone talk? Yeah, I can talk. If I can talk, you just keep. You just keep going. You just keep going. Are you? Are you done? She has a neck tattoo. Oh my like, god! I can wait. Like I'm one of those teachers. Like I wait, can wait. Hey, hold on, hold on. Thank you, man. Here is a better way to gauge this question: When you rate yourself, what subconscious image do you use to rate yourself? Hmm. Your Instagram photos, or hmm, you just getting out of the shower and looking at yourself in the mirror? Down. That's an interesting question. We're stealing that question. Yes. Thank you, Bads EXE. Thank you. Really appreciate the uh, support. Speaking of the rating thing, and oh my God! Mike Davis donated. Thank you, man. Holy shit! Mike Davis's ratings for how much I pay for an out call oh with each guest. Out call. Three hundred dollars, Farah. Zero dollars, Nikki. Zero dollars, Rosie. Zero dollars, Ali. Three hundred dollars, Nev. Five hundred dollars Aspen, three hundred dollars Kylie, zero dollars Zartain. If he returns my watch, Waller, dollar one, comma oh oh, 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 If he paid me, bro, I gave him his watch back, Pam. What are you doing? Right what is it? He's got it right here. I'm sorry, Mike Davis. I don't know what I did to Mike Davis, but damn, man. Mike Davis, what? What's, uh, thank you guys for all the support. If he's using you. words like outcall, he's from Nevada. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. At least it's funny. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm really not. I just don't like being cut off because I literally just sat here two fucking hours to listen to you talk, and I, I just can't talk. You came here to talk to everybody. I understand that, but am I cutting you off? You've been cutting Oops. people off this entire <laughs> night. Anywhere. Who? You. And I just have. You took up like 20 minutes, vomiting, shitting out word salad. Whoa. 20 minutes straight. Why are you getting offended that I want to have the conversation with you? I'm not offended. Yeah, because you're, you just you're trying jump to call in me when out. I'm trying to literally finish my point. I haven't even got to the period. Okay, yet. It go was ahead. A comma. Now is your time. Go it ahead. It was literally a comma. You I literally talk forgot. Now. I'm so mad. Ladies, well, ladies, 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 you're both pretty. It's anyways, okay. Can, it doesn't matter can I, if I'm can pretty. I, can wait, I, it matters let, about how what I fucking stand for. Can, what, yeah. You mentioned the period. Can we please not talk about menstruation? But. You, I don't know. You said something about periods. Or I something? said a kind of bad joke. Can, 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 can I bring some? Yeah. Can I get nerdy with us again, real quick? So beauty is not actually not subjective. Uh, there's tons of studies that show when you overlay. There's a there's a famous one where you overlay the pictures of several thousand psychology students over each other. You come up with an average, and that average is more attractive than the other people. It's rated as more attractive than the people in the classroom. Also, there's studies that show that infants, young children, look at people who are more attractive for longer periods of time. When I, you know, I've hosted over 45 different bikini competitions, and <laughs> exactly, I've hosted over 45 different bikini competitions, and in doing so, when when, when I ask the guys who's going to win, it's almost always like the same three girls. We all we generally agree. There's no study that shows that beauty. Now, to a certain extent, obviously, some people like bigger butts or bigger lips, but the ty- the idea of facial symmetry and signs of youth, clear skin, things like that, those things t- tend to be universal. So those things are not subjective they're actually objective and that's a really offensive thing to a lot of people uh when when you you know look at victoria's secret and they show other body types and i'm all for inclusivity but they're not going to change what i find attractive or what justin finds attractive Mm -hmm. or what rollo or any of the men in the chat what they find attractive because the i because when you leave that door open that beauty is subjective it really for the most part isn't like you can tell when something is beautiful because of symmetry and other things and there's just tons of studies there's tons of evidence to show this that was a beautiful point Um, But I would like to talk to you again. Um, (laughs) What you said was that that there was a double standard in what she was saying. And, okay, what you said was she calls it like she sees it, and that's wrong. Because, and then you, you, sorry, was it you? Or what? You you talked about how, how we just got in that argument. But she, you're saying that she's calling it a double standard for caring about somebody's personality when she meets somebody and then calling them ugly or fat. I just don't mm. want to fuck a fat bitch. I, I, sorry, okay. I just don't want to fuck a fat bitch. But 
Okay, yeah, you got. Are you bi? I mean, are you trolling? Like, what's what's going on? Oh, I just don't want to go. Okay, okay, like you're funny and shit. Okay, look me in the eye and tell me you'd fuck. Drognak the Destroyer who comes on here every once in a while. Okay, but that's not what we're saying. What I'm, we're, I'm, what I'm just I trying to get a read. Uh, yo, Ivan, thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. donated $200. Stop focusing on dollar. If you got you, then great. These girls have no sense of tradition. False studies is what they preach and listen to other women on what a man is and wants. Set your value boundaries and get experience. A man is a leader and a woman makes it worth it. Yo, Ivan Jr., thank you for the $200 donation. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Really appreciate all the support tonight. Um, do you want to continue with okay, your okay, point yeah. about you want me to wanting that? to fuck fat bitches? Okay, okay, I just don't want to fuck fat bitches. Okay, I just don't. Like, Aren't I'm you sorry. said you're... Wait, what? Dude, I, I just don't I know want you're to fuck like okay, joking Okay, if a fat whatever, bitch went like, up what? to me and said, hey, sexy, I'd be like, hell no. Nah. Are you bi? Dude, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. So you like what you like. Basically. I, I like what I like. But so like, if you so you like a person, any person. Okay, okay. Listen, I just don't want right? to fuck a fat bitch. You don't have to overcomplicate. Okay, back to I don't want to fuck a fat back bitch. Back to what she sure, was she asking me. Back to what she was asking me. You were saying how I was basically saying that's contradicting, right? Yeah. Earlier she was saying how how are you gonna date somebody? How are you gonna marry somebody and then not not know if that they're good in bed, right? And mm -hmm. she's over here saying... Well, I know they're not good in bed because they'll okay, break it. Okay, first of all, let me finish. Okay, you want people to let, me, you, let you finish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My thing is, you're over here saying that, oh, you're over here judging, you're being biased, this and this and that, but yet you're over here saying, I wouldn't fuck somebody who's bigger than me, that, like, th that who's ugly, this and this and that. You have your own per like, perception as to who's ugly and who's <coughs> big, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like for you to be like straight up and say like, oh, no, f you're ugly, like you're fat. But yeah, you're over here saying like, oh no, I'm not judging. I'm not judging that. You're, oh, you are being biased. And okay, you okay. Look, I, I'm not saying. an architect. I don't want to fuck a fat bitch. Like, can we just? I don't want to fuck a fat bitch. You don't so have you to. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, We've okay, established okay. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much. We don't have to overcomplicate things. I doubt anyone. Okay, but just. I'm just. I'm just. Okay, I, I just don't so you have a type. I am not trying to complicate it. She merely asked me a question, which is why I was just trying to. Can I simplify your point a little bit? Good. Jesus. Okay. So I think the point is. You shouldn't judge someone based off the act of sex, right? Sex isn't the end all be all. But biologically, we pick the mate that is best for us. You're not going to want to mate with someone who, say, is obese, say, is short. And mm -hmm. you want your kids, you want your offspring to be stronger, powerful, tall, in good shape, right? Yes. You will see, not. See, the way you are wording it is way better than what she had That's said. Exactly. That's why I said I was simplifying so her point. But hold on, let, let her finish. So let her finish. So Go ahead. The whole objective, like, her whole objective is I'm going to have my preferences, but sex isn't what makes those preferences. It's the preferences that lead to the sex. 